You can guarantee any s rank character you want in PGR without spending a single black card. It's a one-time deal and all you need is a little bit of planning. Whether you've missed a character you desperately want or feel you might have to skip an upcoming character, blue tickets might just be your saving grace. But something you don't have to think twice about is this video's sponsor. Reverse 1999 is a 20th century time travel strategic RPG developed by Blue Pock Games. This game takes place in an alternate version of Earth where regular humans coexist with natural-born spellcasters called Arcanists. Something catastrophic happened on the last day of 1999, causing time to unravel and flow backwards, a phenomenon known as the Storm. As the only Arcanist who appears to be immune to its effects, it falls upon the timekeeper Verton to discover the truth behind the Storm and the mysterious events on the eve of the millennium. You know I'm a sucker for a good English dub, and Reverse 1999 has one of the best. Not only do characters have authentic accents based on where they're from, you'll even catch them slipping into their native language every now and then. And if you love the voices, you're in luck, because this game's captivating story has full English voice acting. Reverse 1999 is really brought to life with beautiful live 2D animations and cutscenes. Just make sure to keep some tissues at the right because things can get pretty emotional. Version 1.5, Revival, the Uluru Games, is packed with new content and new characters. During this patch, you'll be able to pull for the awesome six stars, Spathodia and Ezra Theodore. But most importantly, there are beautiful new garments to be had. If Tooth Fairy is too spooky for you on a regular day, why not let her hit the tennis court? Reverse 1999 version 1.5 is now available, so click the link in the description to download the game to gain up to 74 summons and a guaranteed 6-star character in 30 summons. PGR has a lot of different banners for pulling characters and weapons, but this feature makes use of one in particular. The A Member Target Banner, aka the Beginner Banner. The Beginner Banner has the following attributes. It allows you to target specific A ranks, and you're guaranteed an A rank by 10 pulls. There is a 100% rate for getting a debuting character, and an 80% rate for everything else. You can also get B ranks, but don't worry, they don't count towards this 10 pity. They're just a bonus. For this reason, you would usually only roll on this banner to obtain a specific A rank. This banner uses a special currency, the Base Construct R&D Tickets. That's kind of a mouthful, so we'll be calling them Blue Tickets. These can be obtained for free, and we'll get into those details later. You can also use black cards, or BC, on this banner, which will convert to any pull currency. But we don't recommend it, since it's better to save your BC for S-rank banners instead. The beginner banner will reward you with an S-rank after a certain number of pulls. The first time around, this reward will be by the 40th pull, or earlier. However, after that, the reward will be by every 60th pull, or earlier. Note that if you are lucky enough to get the S rank early, the counter resets to zero. Now for the interesting part. Since launch, this S rank reward on the beginner banner was completely random. However, starting with Lamia's patch, Cradle Parade, PGR is rolling out a new feature that allows you to choose which S rank you get 100% guaranteed. This applies to either the first time 40th pull reward or the 60th pull reward depending on which one you're on. And don't worry, this means that this feature is available to everyone, regardless of account progression. That said, you can only take advantage of this choice once per account, so you need to choose wisely. And not only that, you need to accrue plenty of blue tickets. Because this feature allows you to select an S rank of your choice, it's sometimes been referred to as a free S rank selector, However, I always found that name to be a little misleading since you need to spend pool currency to take advantage of this perk. Sure, it's free currency, but free still requires some grinding. So instead of calling it an S rank selector, we'll call it the beginner banner blue ticket target, the banner blue target, the blue target. If you're just starting out, the game will shower you with blue tickets through the early one-time missions, Celica's rewards, the FOS college, and the student rewards if you get an instructor, which you absolutely should if you're under level 80. So, if you start playing during or after Cradle Parade, you'll be getting that blue target before you know it. You can also earn blue tickets reliably every week through Operation Guardians, and you get them as a login reward every 14 days. 
If you're a spender, you can purchase a bundle of blue tickets in the top-up shop. The pack costs 5 rainbow cards, or about 99 cents, and will get you 2,500 blue tickets or 10 pulls. This is a one-time deal, so once you buy it, it's gone. As a bonus, if this is your first purchase, you'll also get Lotus's Rainwalking coating. Of course, you can also convert your black cards into blue tickets if you want to, but this can't be reversed, and I really don't recommend it. BC is much better spent on the themed construct or weapon banners or, for those that prioritize fashion, the occasional special coding gachas. Now for timing. If you're watching this before Cradle Parade and don't have many blue tickets, you might want to wait to pull A rank characters until later. After all, if you get your S rank, it will be a random one, and you'll have to collect 15,000 tickets again before you can take advantage of this perk. That said, if you have an extra 15,000 blue tickets to spare already, don't worry about it and go ahead and pull. They are really only good for this banner anyway. But if you're watching this after Lamia debuts, the blue target perk is already available to you. There are a lot of options, so we'll help you choose wisely. New characters are added to the beginner banner regularly, and that includes adding new S ranks to the blue target options. New S rank characters are added to the pool two patches after their debut. So when Lamia comes out, all S ranks up to number 21's amplifier frame will be available on the blue target. This includes Crimson Weave, so if you missed her, you could theoretically get her here. In Black Rock Shooter's patch, Elisa Echo will be added to the beginner banner pool and will therefore become available to target. In Watanabe Epitaph's patch, Lamia will be added, and so on, and so forth. With that in mind, let's assess who is the best s rank construct to target. We don't recommend pulling for any character that is available on the beginner s rank selector that you get for starting the game, or, for that matter, any of the constructs available on Celica's s rank selector. We also don't recommend using it to get an s rank that you can get for free through the dorm or Recitativo di Fantasia. We'd also suggest against Nanami Starfarer, since she will soon be outclassed by Watanabe Epitaph. With those obvious ones out of the way, here's where the hard decisions have to be made. If you are a new or returning player and there is a character you miss that you have your heart set on, the blue target is your most reliable and affordable way of getting them quickly. Alpha fans that missed her patch, you can finally bring Crimson Weave home. However, Crimson Weave isn't necessarily the best option here, especially now that we know what the future brings thanks to the Chinese server being so far ahead. Every new S rank from Lamia onward is even stronger than Crimson Weave or Bianca Stigmata, though they're still the best in their respective element and role. But new characters will keep coming out, and we can't just be waiting to use the blue target forever. Perhaps what is more important than strength is cost. While all the new characters are strong, we will be getting two back-to-back -back S ranks at the end of 2024, Watanabe Epitaph and Chu Shukra. Both characters are absolute powerhouses and highly recommended if you're looking to build the best fire and ice teams respectively. However, saving the BC for two S ranks isn't easy for free-to-play players, especially those new or returning. Therefore, we recommend saving the blue target feature to guarantee getting one of these two S ranks. To do so, it will require waiting two full patches after their debut for them to be added in the pool. Watanabe Epitaph will be added in Teddy Decryptor's patch, and Shu Shukra will be added in Luna Oblivion's. You can easily save your blue target by keeping your target set to random. With this setting, you won't use it up, and if you've already switched it to target a particular character, you can switch it back to random anytime. Just remember, once you pull your blue target, even if it's early, you can't use this feature again. If you're watching this in the far future, there will be even more S ranks to look forward to, so be sure to check out the PGR roadmap on greyravens.com to plan accordingly. Of course, our recommendation is just that, a recommendation. If you really have your heart set on a different character, pull who you love. PGR is a game where meta only matters if you're trying to stay on top of the leaderboards, and ultimately, it's a single player game with lots of great, fun characters to play as. Also, rest easy knowing that while the blue target is a one-time reward, there are other ways to reliably get previous characters, such as the Anniversary Banner, which usually arrives in July, and the Rare Wishing Banner. 
both allow you to get any s rank character at 100% rate up, but it does cost up to 15,000 BC, so be patient and save up for it if you want to take advantage of these options. While we think Watanabe is the most practical choice for the blue target, we understand if you need to know all about every S rank before you can make any decisions. Which is why you'll need to watch this video, where we break down all the S ranks across both the global and Chinese servers. Hey! Don't poke me and then run away! 